Welcome to Be Still and Know with Adam. Well today I decided because I could not find inspiration for a video all day that I would just do a video on something that I was going to do anyway, which is a simple candle magic spell with uh, crystals or gemstones. Okay, So this is a simple spell that I wanted to do today and I just went and picked up some a few supplies from the metaphysical store so one thing that I always do whenever I do a candle magic spell um, is always pick up some smudging uh, materials so that I can get a good vibe or good energy in my room before I do anything like that so the first thing that I picked up today uh, was some Palo Santo which is a wood from South America and Mexico that has been used for a few hundred years now to um, bring positive spirits and also to send away negative spirits. The story with this is that some uh, 1600s friars um, accidentally discovered this wood that the indigenous people were using and they said that once they burned it that it was a very um, holy smell kind of like sage would be and so they called it Palo Santo and so this is a uh, a piece that I got from a metaphysical store and so you just burn it for a little bit and then let the smoke kind of release the into the air okay and then you do a little chant I always do the chant negative spirits and energies must leave positive spirits and energies angels and guides are welcome so uh, I'm gonna do that right now and I'm gonna do a quick spell for wealth today we're gonna do a quick spell for wealth okay so I just light my Palo Santo. So this wood actually they say that you're never supposed to cut it down while it's still living. This wood is only collected after it's the tree has died and the wood has dried out naturally on the forest floor. So that's the trick to this as it's never supposed to be cut down. So now focus on your intentions when you're doing this. Okay. My intention is that negative spirits and energies must leave. Positive spirits and energies, angels and guides are welcome. Negative spirits and energies must leave. Positive spirits, energies, and guides are welcome. Okay, so now we're going to shift. Once, once I have done a little bit of this, I'm going to shift over now to because I'm actually in my bedroom. I don't know if you guys watching the videos ever noticed that, but I'm in my bedroom. And so I'm going to move over to where I have my altar. This is my altar. And I'm going to use my smudging tool to go all around my materials and just do my chant, negative spirits and energies must leave. Positive spirits, energies, angels and guides are welcome. This is the candle that I'm going to be using today. And I bought this candle at a metaphysical store, but you could probably get any candle that is for a color that is kind of going to go with your purpose at any kind of store. But this one already had its own little um, sticker on it, and that's why I decided to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to go and put this onto my little shell. This is my shell. All right, I use this for my smudging. Okay, so this, let me just explain my altar a little bit. So this altar is basically designed like this because um, it has crystals on it. And the crystals are designed to give the whatever candle magic spell you're doing to give it extra energy, to give it extra power. Okay, so I have three different um, candle sections in my altar. One is for love and love spells. Um, not only to draw love to me, but also if I was in a relationship I would use something like this. Um, just to make sure that my love is harmonious, 
that I have good energy in my relationships and that everything goes well. So just kind of to bless your relationships. But I've, I've been using it to heal my heart, um, heal past wounds and traumas, uh, and to allow my heart to be open and receptive for a new relationship eventually. So that's what I've been doing lately is burning candles that are pink um, and white for that purpose. Okay. And then over here, this was my wealth one. I have a bunch of crystals that correspond to wealth. These crystals correspond to love in the heart, okay? And then the, this section is my chakra uh, section, and that is <clears throat> basically the seven chakras. Each of the seven stones correlate to a chakra, and I'll burn a chakra candle that'll have all the chakra colors on it. And so I'll do that um, sometimes. And this is... You can have any kind of little statues that help give you power um, onto your altar, but I have a lot of different kinds of statues. And so I switch out sometimes, and this is the first time I'm actually going to use one on my altar with a spell, but I'm going to start switching them out. Uh, but I'm using this one today. This is actually the Indian Hindu god Ganesha. Ganesha is the remover of obstacles, helps you with wealth and things like that, prosperity. And so I have that there because I'm going to do a wealth spell. And this spell is going to be, um, has specific purposes. So you can get a green candle to help you with, with uh, a wealth um, spell. And behind it, behind the Ganesha, is a bag of salts and um, herbs and spices and things like that that help to cleanse your stones. I bought this at a metaphysical store too. And uh, you just put your stones in there and shake them up to cleanse the energy off of them to allow you to use them again for, for future uses. Uh, or you could smudge um, Palo Santo around your your stones as well to clean them, or you could spray them with Florida water, which is what I usually do, and then let them run under cold water. So these stones have been cleansed with cold water, Florida water sprayed on them, and then run under cold water, and then smudged with Palo Santo, and then on top of that they were shaken in this bag of salts and spices and herbs. So these stones are very neutralized and they are ready for another spell, okay? So I wanted to show you, I'm gonna put this candle down for a minute, but underneath my plate, you can also put your own, um, what your desires are or your, your own little messages of your intentions, if you want to do that, to put underneath your candle holders. But this is the, the sticker that was on the candle, the green candle when I bought it. And I just put it underneath because I still, I want this. I want this as my part of my desire. So the, the spell says, I open the path to wealth without end. The money I need, the universe will send. Bills will be paid, my coffers overflow, my worries released, my wealth will grow. My own blocks, be they from spirit or mind, no longer hamper, no longer bind. Harming none and helping all is how it shall be. This I make true three by three by three. Made when the moon is right. So I, I said this spell with the intention that I will be drawing money towards me and that my, my own um, self-sabotaging beliefs are no longer going to block me, whether they be from spiritual uh, um, blocks or from mental blocks. And so I'm going to allow wealth into my life. Okay. Right there. Okay. So then when you have your stone set up and they're all ready to go, you get your candle. And I've also sprayed this candle with Florida water and I have run it under cold water so that it is now clear of any energy. Anybody touching it, making it would have given it. Um, and so now it's neutralized as well. And I wrote with a Sharpie on the side, okay? And I always write my own intentions, for my specific intentions for a spell on the side of the candle, okay? And so on top of what I want from the paper that's underneath it for wealth to flow and things like that, I also have my own specific goals, okay? I have my own specific intentions and desires that I want this candle to be linked with. And so one of those is that I want to start a business, and so I put that I want to start a business and have it be successful. And I wrote that on the side of the candle. Okay, and I have a few other ones that I wanted to um, write as um, on the side as well. So those are all, I kind of, I like to go until the whole candle is filled up. Okay, so I'll write until the whole candle all the way around is filled with my intentions. 
And then finally, it's time to light it. Okay, so I have a specific candle lighter de um, designated. I don't use any other um, candle lighters or anything like that, um, regular lighters. I just use this one specific candle lighter for my spiritual purposes for this altar. Okay, and, and for the colors of the altar, you may be wondering why I picked these specific colors. Okay, the red is grounding. Okay, it's helped me, it's to correlate with your root chakra, with being grounded with the earth, with mother nature, um, with your, um, uh, your, your material self, okay, as well as blood, passion, and all those things. Uh, the black is neutral, okay, it's to bring a neutral, um, energy to this to this altar to allow me to reach into the unknown and then this is a kind of blue for the sky um, for spirituality white for purity and spirituality um, the grays in, in between are for the earth um, so that and then there's also I think a little bit of brown in there as well so that's why I picked that one so they all kind of have their own meaning as to why I picked these different colors for my altar also, that's what I had available. Okay, so it's it's sometimes you can reuse things around your house and whatever's available sometimes is perfect for what you need. Okay, so I'm gonna light this candle now. I'm gonna, I said my intentions. I, um, I smudged all my materials so that they're all cleansed and clear. The energy is now clear. So now it's time for the lighting of the candle, okay? Hold on, I want to straighten out this wick. Okay. So I have my candle now. All lit. And that... Oops. That is how you do a simple candle magic spell. Okay? Doesn't have to be super complicated. You don't have to be a master magician or or pagan or Wiccan or whatever labels which people want to give you when you do stuff like this. But this, I do this because this helps me to put my intentions out into the universe. Ooh, look at that. It went out. That's a bad sign. When a candle goes out like that, it's not a good sign. You also got it when you're doing candle magic you also got to read into the signs of it and that wasn't a good sign <laughs> but I'm gonna reset my intention okay and relight it okay so this Doing candle magic is not for everybody, but when you do it, it's a way for you to set your intentions, set your mind, your manifesting powers into the universe, use the energy of Mother Earth and all the crystals of the universe and the elements of the universe, the energy of the universe and the fire of the universe, okay, because fire is, a, is um, only made because of the elements that we have, carbon, oxygen, heat energy okay and then with the spiritual side of the deities that you put give energy to this allows you to set your intentions into the universe to get out of the way because now you can see my new sign that my mom my mom gave me that sign uh, be still and know so that's it uh, it was a quick video today I just wanted to show you what I'm doing but I'm um, I've been doing this kind of for a few months now and I think it's a great way to allow the universe to uh, see what your intentions are and for you to release them out of you and to stop worrying about them so much. Once you light it, let it go, okay? it's Now it's the universe's deal. You don't have to think about it anymore or worry about it. It is done and you have manifested, you have drawn something to you with your magic, with your power, with your personal inner spiritual power. So take that. And remember, no matter what comes your way, it's going to be a great day, even if you have to light a billion candles to make it that way. Thank you.